All right, what's up, Noah? <laughs> what's up, Dave? We we were able to connect. <laughs> finally, finally, I've been That's up. Right. I've That's been right. up since um, eight or four hours, and I've tried so many things. Uh, but I still think I've got some wrong settings. But we'll figure, yeah. figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome, CryptoFam, to the second episode of Cadena Talk. This time, I'm joined by Damon. What's up? How's it going? I'm here. <laughs> I'm great. Um, L loud and clear. <laughs> and, and I hope it stays that way. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Argentina, and here in Argentina, we do everything with spit and chewing gum, which is why we have one of the reasons why we have technical difficulties. <laughs> I mean, it, it feels the same here with the internet. Uh, it, it, it's it's an insult to Argentina to say the internet is the same. I would think in Germany, you guys have your stuff way together. You know, you guys seem so organized. I mean, you guys make Mercedes. You no, need to no, have no. this is. I'm sorry, this is our fault. This cannot be Germany's fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, I mean, like German internet is, I believe, the worst in whole really? Europe. Really, I would think Germany would have the the Mercedes of internet and the and everything is fast and everything is 300 megabytes per millisecond <laughs> that's what everybody <laughs> thinks the case. when coming to germany <laughs> it's good to know <laughs> uh -huh. but you guys really uh yeah 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 you got us in the world cup last time that was that was a that was a hard a hard loss for me <laughs> i believe that I, mean, I was also on team messi but do you know do you know what i thought i don't know if you saw that game but i thought when they put in that that kid in Germany, he was like at the end of the game. It was the end of overtime. They they put in that kid, and he had this this glow in his eyes. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. oh thinking. my god, I was terrified of this kid. And that kid scored the goal and won the World Cup for Germany. And I knew it. I knew when they put him in, he was fresh. He was so excited to be there. And I and it was uh, it was it, it was, was an it, awesome it was game. What, it was what was meant to be. Exactly. It was what was meant to be. Um. Well, let's. But let's change the topic because I really want to know uh, some things about you and your project. Let's do it. Feel free to tell me a little bit how, I don't know, how you came to YouTube, how you started making like those planting videos and how you came to Cadena, how this all connected. Um, you know, I had a construction company here in, in Argentina and the planting videos were a hobby. So I started just doing, you know, quick videos in Spanish about things I learned in growing things and you know just quick videos and uh, the reason why I wanted to do that was because I, I found that on YouTube whenever I went to go look up things I would be frustrated because I would see a gardener talking for 20 minutes and there was too much talking involved and I wanted to get to the point so I thought man I wish I could just go get the information and that was the heart behind what my channel I was just giving the information because I'm passionate about that I like, I like growing my own food there's nothing better than your own tomato and your own lettuce it's just delicious so I did that as a hobby and all of a sudden I did a tree video a tree planting video and it went viral it went oh, crazy oh yeah I saw that yeah I got like 1 million views now it has like 1.6 million so um, that was like, whoa, I kind of stepped back from that and I decided to do the same video in English. Then I got serious about it. I thought to myself, well, let me do this even more professionally. So I started to do videos that were more professional in English and one of my tree videos, the one in English, also went viral. And meanwhile, while all this was happening, I was on the other end learning about crypto investing in crypto, diving into the world. I was a person that was very judgmental towards crypto. I thought it was the dumbest thing in the world. And one day I realized during the pandemic, I realized, wait a minute, you need to learn about this and then you can criticize it. You know, you need to know what this is and then you can say it's it's uh, it's fool's gold. And when I learned about it, I realized why it has value, why the technology is valuable. And so then I, de I decided to start making videos on letting people know about this, like at least learn about it, you know, learn how it works. And that's kind of how I ended up uh, switching to crypto. I had a construction company down here and I ended up closing that and putting all my chips into this, into what I'm doing, into the YouTube videos, into uh, my investments. And uh, so I do this full time now. And that's kind of how I came to crypto, I think. <laughs> that's awesome that you, you can do it full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I've, been, I've never been more busy either in doing all of this. Yeah, like it's, it's um, just uh, the, the same with me. So <laughs> if I'll just continue, uh -huh. um, 
I don't know how, how I even got into crypto because I first I first started doing print on demand, so making designs and I don't know selling them on Redbubble, Spreadshirt, anything, and um, it, it's still going passively. But after I don't know a year, I came I came to crypto. I first started to look into Cardano and didn't really think uh, much of it. But you know, as time goes on, you just just learn or get more interested because you see more people talk about it, making money, uh, more YouTube videos. And yeah, all That's right. When you enter crypto, it's the green crypto, you know, Cardano. Yeah. I jumped into crypto. I thought Cardano was the best thing since uh, Same. I thought it was the best. But then, do you know what, what started to cool me off on Cardano? <laughs> I started to realize, uh, uh, and I could be wrong. I don't want to slam Cardano because... Um, you know, make, I hope they have, they're successful, et cetera, et cetera. But all the videos that uh, Hoskinson does, I would ask questions. Like the more I learned about crypto, the more I learned about proof of stake, I would ask questions like legitimate questions about the technology. And for some reason I was being blocked as if I was uh, causing FUD. And I was like, that, that's kind of weird. I, I, I was just asking yeah, I was just a legitimate question. Asking those questions was what gave me some red flags about proof of stake. And I continue to research. And then I've gotten cooled down about Cardano since then. And now I, I don't, I think I hardly own any Cardano. And like I said, I'm not a technical person, so I can't know everything. But I have moved away from Cardano because they scared me. That, that culture of like shutting me down when I'm asking legitimate technical questions. I'm like, uh, you seem like a dictator, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's my take on Cardano today, and I could be wrong. Like I said, may maybe they were sensitive to a certain to someone else who just said the asked the same question and was being abusive to the community, which happens. So who knows why? It's not like I've completely abandoned them, but I have a lot more hopes for Cadena. Same, same. Yeah, and it's it's not only um, Cardano. It's uh, like I tweet I tweeted uh, something yesterday, and I, I found it so accurate. Because like for me, I've been in crypto, I don't know, one or two years now, and ne nearly everyone who joins crypto, like um, joins, um, I don't know, joins a community, goes into a blockchain like Cardano, I don't know, is scared or afraid to to learn more, to to unlearn and learn and get over to new projects. Like it was the same for me. I still like Cardano, but um, I changed my way. And so many people, when they get questions or um, yeah, like proof of stake or talk, talk about Cardano and see something doesn't fit them, they, they block them because they're afraid to lose money or just change their mind. This is a whole new world. These, these guys have no experience being CEOs or, or running a company the way you would run it in the States where there's a lot more um, service. Like, okay, you, want, you need this question, you, we can answer it. And so, you know, they're on Discord. These are guys that are on Discord. So if they want to block you, they can block you. And, uh, and they don't have that idea of, of service to the customer. That doesn't exist. These guys are, are techies that are building projects, you know? <laughs> and sometimes you don't, you know, they don't want to be questioned. They just want to get it done. I felt that the Hoskinson is a bit of a dictator. And I was like, okay, we have this dictator who's cuddly. And I just didn't find him so cuddly anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the Proof of Stake song. Tell me how that's decentralized. Please tell me. I don't know. No, seriously, I really want to know. Throw it down in the comments. Uh, yeah, the proof is, uh, I'm kind of going over the top, and I apologize because I don't say drop all your ETH investments, drop all your Cardano, and sell Cardano. And sell mm -hmm. Cardano. I'm not saying that. I did it. <laughs> That's did just it. me. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not yeah, God. I could I be very too. wrong, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, but I think it's important to... Um, also do um, songs or shit about everything because people get so focused on on one thing when joining a project that they don't don't see anything else apart from it. Yes, yes, that can happen. Exactly. You have to uh, I don't know learn about mm -hmm. it. Learn, and, learn about it. and and learn to unlearn and relearn. That's, exactly. That's important. Exactly. If the promises that Kadena are giving us are 100% legitimate, again, I'm not a technical person, so I, I can't really check up on this. I'm taking people's word for it. But if, if they can deliver what they say they can deliver with, it is the future. Unless they are some kind of, there's, there's a rug pull, which all, all this can happen, you know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But unless there's some kind of rug pull or they're, they, don't, they can't deliver on what they say they can deliver, Kadena is just... 
Oh, it over is, time. It is. Over time. Just by knowing what it is, by knowing what it can do. So it all depends on that. Right now, it's like really just the, I don't know. I haven't found anything else that can touch it at this point. I mean, there is definitely the proof of work societal view. People are angry at the fact that you have mm. these mining operations that are consuming so much energy. There is a negative there in social perception. But it's not because they educated, they're educated about how to mine and what you can do to mitigate that environmental impact. The community needs to be mindful about that in terms of, yeah. terms of how the world sees it. Because if we can solve that and if we can be like truly shoot for green mining, and that's kind of our thing, we will put a stamp there in that negative social perception. I see that as a hurdle as well for Kadena. Like people are talking about doing green mining. You know, the Kadena Mining Club wants to do it with 100% renewable energy. I'm thinking about getting a couple of miners and I'll, I'm going to run them with solar power. Yo. So if we can be mindful about that, that will help with that negative social perception. But apart from that, it's to the moon with Kadena. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If, if, if all, but I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Me too, and, me too. Um, yeah. And also it's, it's not like only about Cadena's uh, um, education, it's that most people, including me, like as said, we are completely, uh, completely new and don't even know what, what blockchain is, what proof of stake is, what proof of work is like 99% of people co couldn't even answer that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's why I also made, also made my channel, um, apart from airdrops, uh, I, I don't want to teach people directly. I want I want to learn with them. That's why sure. um, I'm making these sure. uh, interviews and going to make some Cadena videos. Um, yeah, again, not because I know, it, but um, I want to learn it with the people and yeah, with the communities to to learn about blockchain because I think that's um, so uh, undervalued. People don't know why it's valuable. When you start studying what gives something value, like for example, gold is just a piece of metal you find in a river. It doesn't have any yeah. value. There's no value to gold. Uh, the fact that we say that gold is a standard. The only reason why gold has value is because we as a community have agreed that it has value. It doesn't rust. It has its properties. It's rare. But with Bitcoin, when you learn about the technology and what builds, what builds it, what makes it secure, then you see a system of value. And that's what the community agrees upon. We're agreeing upon this system of value that is incorporating the internet to create that security and that store of value. The internet itself is the gold. Using that, those connections to secure it, to make it uh, bulletproof. And that's what makes uh, cryptocurrency so powerful. It makes it powerful, not just for, for money, but it also makes it powerful for anything else, <laughs> data. That's, mm -hmm. Those are where NFTs come in. It can revolutionize industries. People don't talk about the environmental impacts of the world financial system. You know, people don't talk about how, many, how much it takes to run banks and crank out the dollar. It's like that's already established. That's there. So we're not going to study that. <laughs> like I said, the more I've learned, the more I, I, I realize that there is um, this is going to be the future of money, but not just money, properties, elections, marriage licenses. Web three, yeah, in general, it's all, it's all, it's all changing. It's all changing. If you want to accept it or not, so we can just learn about it and go on with it. If you're not learning about it, you're being left behind. You don't have to believe in it. If you're not learning about it, you're being left behind today. For me, every day I learn so much new, and and um, I realize how much I don't know. I find it, I find it so um, so awesome, and um, I love learning. Like uh, since I've left school. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, ne yeah, I never, yeah. I never passion to learn, but now um, with crypto or when watching Ryan's videos, yeah. it's it's so it's so valuable and that's um, it, it's so much fun. I've been a lifelong learner, and everything that you learn, mm -hmm. everything when you're into it, you move at such a faster pace than you would in school. When there's that passion to learn something, passion yeah. because there's a there's a inspiration and a desire to do that. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. needs to be awoken in people when they learn. Because then, then you, you learn things differently. You learn things with a purpose. You're not just yeah. taking a class. Um, we're taught in school to become good workers. <laughs> That's what they teach us. And, and not to That's learn how to not, think. Not yeah. to create. Not to create a job. Yeah. They don't teach you how to create a job. Yeah. They don't teach you to, to risk. It's like, get the right answer. Yeah, like, they don't you know. teach you how to think. They tell you what to do. Yeah. Like, you go to work yeah. and... I was a teacher for 16, 15 years I taught. 
high school in Los Angeles in the, in the States at a private school in Santa Monica. In this private school that I taught in, we talked about this and how to solve that. And it's, it's, it's challenging because you have the old system. Then you also have these new systems. There's, there's such an opportunity to be so creative right now in building what, what is being built around Cadena, for example. The communities, the ideas that are that are popping in within the community are very exciting. Yeah, for example, for example, your project. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, like for, for us, uh, it's exciting because I don't want to talk about the ideas because nothing is set in stone. So unless you know that you can deliver, whatever you say, you know that you can deliver, that that's going to happen. Um, unless you're 100% sure that you have the resources, number one, and number two, the people around you and the technical ability to realize it, then we shouldn't say anything. So I keep my ideas to myself until everything is in place. But if you stop and sit down and think about a project, people can come up with great ideas. People can see the problems that are happening today and find great solutions to those problems. I have fun doing that. You know, you sit down and I'm looking at, for example, play to earn games on the mobile. Why are they not sustainable? And you look at that, you look at that and you go, well, why is it Fate and Arena, for example? It's not a sustain, it doesn't seem like it's a sustainable system. Axie Infinity. And I, I think the most of the time that I find the, the reason is um, if you find a solution, you can build something. It doesn't have to be a game. You could be talking about anything in any industry. Yeah, that, that, that's true. And I think um, it, this would also be really important for future projects, like for every project. But um, I, I can already see some some of uh, some Cadena projects uh, rushing, rushing when uh, Cadena takes off. And right. Right. I mean, I know that with Cadex, for example, that's such a great project. I'm kind of glad that they're taking, people are frustrated. They're like, when is Cadex going to come out? I want Cadex to come out. But the fact is, you want that audit to go well. You want this to be a solid DEX mm -hmm. that cannot get hacked. So the patience is important. You, you, they have to get this right. The DEX has to be solid. And so, so the, uh, you know, I'm patient about it. I, I would rather wait the right amount of time for them when they release it, it's done 100% correct. They're gonna be handling a lot of the economy of the Cadena ecosystem. Anyone who comes into Cadena will probably use CADEX, uh, even though there may be other options. And so you want that to be right. Um, for me, with the whole public sale thing, it's like all projects do that. Uh, the thing, the thing with Cadex is, yeah, they 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 should have been transparent about that, but it doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me as such a, as such a thing. But it also depends on perception. If they wouldn't have done that, if they would have been to completely one hundred percent transparent, they would be in a much stronger position right now. So they admitted to that. They spoke to that. But for me, again, I'm not looking at this short term. I'm looking at from here to two years. I I'm glad that <laughs> they maybe you're not going to make it ten times, but but. That's fine. In two years, wait and see what happens. If they deliver, you know? Mm -hmm. And I also <laughs> got to wait for some projects to let me get some money out. Uh -huh. that's, that's crypto. That's crypto. And um, there will always be a better time to buy. But when, when I saw a Bitcoin dump today to... Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. What, the house is falling. Like, the yeah, house is falling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait a few K. Um, and what, let's see what Bitcoin is today. Uh, like I, I stopped looking at price, but it's been on, on 32,000, 33,000 mm -hmm. is Bitcoin. So it's pretty low compared to where it's been. And Cadena is at $3. Mm -hmm. I wish I had more, more money to spend right now. I don't, <laughs> I've already bought all the Cadena right. I can buy. I wish I had another thousand dollars to just put it to Cadena right now, but it doesn't matter. It's balls to the wall with Cadena. Like I, I really think that <laughs> that there's been this. It's not just Bitcoin. It's the stock market. There's a shakeup mm -hmm. that's happening in the world mm -hmm. economy, partly due to all all the the chaos. My project has to do with chaos. I don't know if you if you notice that these NFTs. There's a chaos element to it, um, but all this chaos that we're experiencing in the world. Um, you know, are shaking up the markets. You know, if we had a crystal ball, yeah, you could play that game, but I don't play that game. You know, I'm, I'm planting a tree and then I'm taking care of that tree. And I think that's a much better game to play because uh, you're more at peace and then you're, and you're able to build something, which is what, what, what should we should be focusing on. Like, what are we building? So that's my philosophy in investing. I know a lot of people are not like that. <laughs> a lot of people are watching that ticker, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's, 
it's uh and and I've done that but but when I do that I'm not happy I'm not a happy person <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, I lose money when, when I just <laughs> in, in some, yeah, but that's what, what, what I've also been telling um, people, like for me being now one to two years into crypto, um, I lost money, but I've learned so much that um, it was worth it. And so many people I talk to, uh, um, everybody says uh, same, so you lose money at the beginning, but you learn and learning about this is so much more valuable than, than um, making, making right. 10k like from a random exactly time. Right. the money I invested and I lost a lot as well um, the value I have and the knowledge I've gained is like I've gotten a lot of knowledge from doing this and that to me is I also see it as a very invaluable because I find myself in this place today and I find myself in, in a position to where to where I understand what I'm investing in you know I understand what that little KDA means. And that is a different position to be in than simply sitting down and not knowing anything. And someone tells you, someone tells you Cardano is the green, is the green blockchain. And I'm like, okay, I'll buy it because of that. It's third. Let's do it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you don't know anything. Like that, yeah. you just, you, you're just in Binance and you're like, okay, yeah, Cardano. Uh, that sounds good. And you're just, <laughs> that sounds good playing a, a guessing five. game and you have no idea what it is you're holding it, it just drops half of its price and you're like whoa and, and you don't have any trust in it you don't know them you don't you haven't read read anything it's a bad place to be you have to i think you have to do your own research you have to know what you're investing in and and that's where you'll find good yeah, projects just, if you're going to be successful i think to, i like uh warren buffett's philosophy on investing which is basically he says you'll get about 20 great opportunities in your life. Yep. Great. Just be looking for the opportunities and forget about the price. Look for the opportunity. And that's my philosophy. And I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a lot more at peace. Even though the, the market's going crazy, I've lost who knows how much. Uh, but, you know, you don't lose it. It's, it's still there. It's just, you know, it's going to go up and down. It's the projects now that, that, that interest me. And I'm pretty chill. I got to tell you, I'm pretty chill about the situation. Unless there's nuclear war tomorrow, which can happen, you know, in that, <laughs> in that, in that, in that situation, we're in God's hands, you know. Uh, hopefully my trees will sustain me and I have to fight off my neighbors because we're going to want to eat each other. <laughs> so apart from complete uh, world meltdown, which is a possibility, um, mm -hmm. I think this is the future. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Also, me beginning uh, investing in crypto or Cardano, I had I, I had no idea. So many friends of mine, and I saw Cardano going from one dollar to two dollars, and I aped in and at three dollars, and I told him, bro, it will go to five, but had no clue about blockchain. I was looking at anything. ten. It's gonna go to and ten. Then so it went <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah. yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, what you don't know is is I didn't know about market cap at the time. You know, I didn't know about. And so you, when you learn about that, you're like, oh my God, this thing's pretty saturated already. You only know, you about, only know about price and you're looking, yeah, you're looking at, you're listening to the banter boys. Nothing, I have nothing against them. I have nothing against them, but they get you all pumped up and, uh, you know, I think they're doing, mm -hmm. a, a, you know, God bless them. But I've, I've noticed that, that you're just writing what people are saying and it's not, it's not a wise way to, to go about it when you're, you can get wrecked as my song stated <laughs> listen to it two times i was like yo i i really gotta do something something like that too bro i, I want i want to bring more fun <laughs> and uh the whole crypto education space it's so awesome i when i get i get this this mode um i get this character in me which sometimes you know flows and if you can get that that energy and make a video connecting that energy mm -hmm. make a video, also being 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 genuine you know um it's hard because when you turn on the camera you know when you when you set yourself up you turn on the camera it's like uh, it, it takes a while for you to let go <laughs> well, mm -hmm. and that's what i think makes it entertaining or interesting in my view but uh, also people want facts and you need to know what you're talking about too that's um i, I normally when, when i do those cadena videos or when i now start doing them like i, I really want to tell people Let's learn together. I don't want to sh uh, right. shill anything. Yeah, we gotta we gotta spread some uh, Adenia news out just to the people. But um, right now, if yeah. if we already talk about Kadena, um, why don't why don't you tell us a bit about your project? 
for me, I've been a patron to Miriam Alba Romano. She's an artist in the fine art world. Um, and so I decided, I thought to myself, maybe there's value in that. And I don't know if there will be. Um, but I believe there will, there, there will be for those who are connected to that world. Um, and, and also to, to make people aware that aren't connected to that world, you know, to take a second look at perhaps um, seeing the value of having an artist that is established. She has a long career. She's like 74 in oil paintings be part of this NFT project. There's this painting that she did, um, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago. And it, I, I love the painting. And it's, it's this clown standing on a tightrope and it says life sale with these little characters. And, uh, and I've always been fascinated by that character, this, this, uh, the, the clown character. And so I asked Miriam if she'd be willing to do an NFT project with this idea in mind. And, uh, and she was totally into it. Um, so basically, I tried to make her job as easy as possible. She just does the drawings and I give her the, the structure of the NFT. And I say, this is your, these are your limitations. Here's your neck, here's your foot, go crazy. Do, just go crazy, do what you do. We're doing life sale NFTs. You do. <laughs> and then she, she draws whatever she draws. And, um, and then I, I, I will choose some of the ones that I think are like, okay, that's interesting and put it into the, uh, drop it into the computer and it becomes an NFT. So you have this live sale NFT, which is reflecting, when you first see it, you see kind of a, a cartoonish type of, you know, fun, basic clown, whatever. But when you start zooming in and you start looking at some of these things, there's, a, there's elements of, of the chaotic. There's elements of, for example, in the doctor NFT, that's like a career that maybe you wanted to be, I wanted to be a doctor when I was a kid. But then you have the, the heart on the hook and, and you have the knife on, in his front pocket because within that world, I don't know if you've ever had uh, any experience with medicine. Uh, in the United States, healthcare is a, is a crazy thing. It's a crazy weird thing. And I've gone to, to a doctor who said I needed surgery and I didn't need surgery. Uh, I got a second opinion and, uh, and, I'm, and I asked myself why why would that occur? And then I went to a dentist another time and they said I needed $15,000 worth of dental work. I went to another dentist and they're like, you just need a teeth cleaning for God's sake. And so oh, there's that, that, that chaotic clown-like where, where, where your trust gets shaken, you know? Your trust in institutions that you should trust in gets shaken. And so that there's that doctor with, that, mm -hmm. with, that, uh, with those special interests. That's what the heart and the hook is. Uh, and I just love that idea of, of, of bringing in the fireman, for example, has a, has a little, fireman for a little, uh, match on his hand, in his hand. And, uh, that it reflects, uh, the chief of the fire department in, um, in, I believe it was, it was Glen Glendale or Brentwood in Los Angeles. He was a fire chief. He wrote books <laughs> on arson. The guy was convicted for mass murder after 20 years of lighting fires all around the city. You know, it was like, it's oh, crazy, think, it's crazy. I, I that, and so yeah. the NFTs reflect mm -hmm. the madness that occurs, the chaos that occurs in the order. With, with uh, Miriam's uh, idea, what I've learned about art from her, it's really about you connecting to it. You're the one ha making it happen in the moment. And when you feel that resonance, zing, that's something that you, that you throw out there. And it should be interpreted by by the, you know, the the one who sees it. It's the one who interprets it. But all that magic is happening when you're doing it. You don't have a plan for it. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to say something. You're not trying to preach. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to. You're just creating. And so the, the purpose of the project is to make people aware, to think that way, um, to be creative, to sit down and look at things differently, which will help in building. Um, their own projects, their own communities, um, and their own ideas. I think uh, creativity is extremely important, especially as we're launching all these new projects. Right now, the, the, the world is wide open, so we need creativity and creative solutions to be part of Kadena, of the people that are building. And so that's kind of the, the heart behind these NFTs. Well, um so as as you said, there there are many like like the heart on the hook or many there are many different um, what is it attributes right. to the NFTs and 
always sounds like a, like a little story to of, um, that's right the they NFTs. all have a little story absolutely that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um i don't know it, it, it would be awesome um to get like 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 that little story to to the nft that's or, a good idea to get the perspective uh, the, the, of so, um uh, to get the, like what, yeah. what, what's it made what, of? What's what the it story take? behind it? Sure, sure, sure. sure. I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it all has, um, it all has those those elements, and it would be interesting because they are interesting. Like I, I, the conversations I have with Miriam about these are, I mean, are great, and it would, it's good to also to show that because uh, it's so interesting and inspiring. You know, that, that's one of the things why. I love art as well. Whenever I go, whenever I need to be inspired or feel creative, you know, if you go to a fine art gallery, for example, just the environment alone will just make you spark ideas. You know, it'll it'll give you ideas. It'll it'll show you. It'll give you. A, you can also smoke weed, <laughs> but <laughs> but it, or go to an art gallery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to. You don't <laughs> so, yeah, have to. Manage. I'm not advocating. For medicinal purposes, no problem. If it, you know, if you have a, a medical condition, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That just came out of left field. <laughs> and I didn't smoke weed this morning, so <laughs> I'm not <Please>. high. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> 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 yeah. I still look like oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not I exactly I know what it's now. Now it sounds like I'm completely high, but I'm not. I'm completely <laughs> sober. Tell you all this about <laughs> our galleries and creation. <laughs> but but I really want to go to the Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Um, art gallery. But yeah. I but I missed that guy is uh man. That guy is something else. The guy was in a in a mental institution with nothing, still creating these incredible masterpieces. He was in the hole, in the black, the, the worst place you could possibly be in the world is end up in a mental institution against your will, uh, alone. Oh yeah. Um, after cutting off your ear and sending it to your friend, <laughs> and he's still crea oh, oh, he's creating. He's creating. He's creating these masterpieces. He's creating oh, these still. these incredible paintings. That's why Van Gogh has is worth so much. People don't understand why is art worth so much. They don't understand. The fact that you you have something dark around you and terrible, and you transform it into something beautiful and uh, and uh, interesting, um, and that is the power of art. That's why art is worth so much money because they're present. They're like modern day exorcists, you know. Uh, I believe it's just like in crypto. Ninety nine percent of people don't know why why art is so valuable. Why anything anything gets um, valuable or looked at or bought or i don't know they just say okay it's a painting everybody could do it but so yeah behind yeah, it, yeah. Um, absolutely absolutely when you learn with crypto it's different you have the technology that gives it that value that community stamp of approval but ultimately it's the community that gives it value it's us uh, and and right now, Kadena has a small community, uh, those who are who are connected, and we're the ones that give Kadena value. Um, it's the people that give something value. The dollar is worth what it's worth because we agree that it's worth that. There are those who want to control it, and yeah. they're always that will always happen. But we can't lose sight of the fact: what gives Van Gogh's painting value? Um, it's not has nothing to do with the price they're putting on it. It's, it has to do with the community agreeing that that painting is worth twenty million dollars or whatever it is. Yeah, I think I believe he's the 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 most expensive artist in the world. But I don't care about that. I I I, I read about them and it's like wow, these people, the lives they've lived, the things they've done, and that's very inspiring because they. When Picasso was doing his thing, everybody was telling him what an idiot he was, you know, and he kept doing it. You know, it's like you just don't get it. And, he, and, and it's hard to do that in this world. It's hard to follow your own, your own compass. You know, the world is very much about, no, 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 just line up, line up. And 
these people that have to do these breakthroughs are, are just listening to their own. They're listening to their own clock. And we could, it's very positive for human beings to do that in the world. Yeah, not now with social media, it's um, everything's getting faster, but everyone's getting, everyone, everyone's closing. Exactly. Own mind. Um, just like, yeah, I was exactly. yeah, starting to work, starting to think on my own. I've been um, on my own. I'm going outside to the lake or a forest, but and, and think because nobody's got time to yeah. just think for themselves. Everybody's yeah. busy on yeah. the phone, but um, changed so much for me uh -huh. last two or three months. Just think because uh -huh. I ne never really thought, but uh, yeah. thoughtful, you know. Like to, to really I completely know what, what hear you're what you're saying, about. and it's totally true. Um, um, there seems to be less of that critical thinking. Where wait, let me make up my own mind about that. <laughs> it's easier to just say, let me just line up with the group and what they think. It's just, it's easier, but I think it's harder in the long run because because part of of uh, this journey that we're in, this life journey, part of that is knowing yourself. And we have to do the work. You know, it takes risk. It takes yeah. risk to say, I'm going to listen to me, to what's happening here. You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, that can cause people to get hurt too. That's where the, also the clown comes in because people can get hurt. You can, you're going to make mistakes. We're going to make mistakes. You're going to, we're going to, we can hurt ourselves and we may, we may hurt others. In my goal, I try not to do that. I would like to do that where that doesn't happen on the contrary. The purpose is to inspire, is to feel connected. It's to feel alive. It's to be able to enjoy the millions of dollars you're going to make on Cadena, not have them and then just be like mm -hmm. not even recognizing or seeing the, the wonderful things around you, which happens a lot in the world. It happens a lot. So those are reasons why art is important, you know? My sister, yo, she's so into art. She's at the Munich yeah. Art School, something, and always drawing. And I, I only, I, I get fascinated from people. But I, I gotta, I gotta let let my creativity. Yeah, you know, I, I was excited when you told me about the fact that you want to do a collection with your sister. You should definitely do that. My attitude is envision the NFT or have her envision if she knows what it is. So basically, you want to have a fixed set of rules. You know, like for example, in my NFT collection uh, or Miriam's NFT collection, you have the neck that's fixed at a certain height, and then you have the foot that's fixed and the tightrope. That's a fixed, those are restrictions. And why? So that you can switch the heads, so you can switch the bodies and that it'll make sense. And so, so create something like that and then let her go crazy with it. You know, uh, let her go, let her go nuts, support that creativity. Let it go, let her explore within those limits. It's going to be cool. What you, what you come up with will be original uh, and not everybody's going to like it. Some people may hate it. It doesn't matter. The act of doing it, the act of doing it is what matters. And um, that's the first step. If, I, I would love to see a collection coming out of you guys. I would like to, I, I would be very excited to see what happens there. <laughs> you, you may be, you may surprise yourself what ends up happening, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, for sure. For sure. Because I've, I've, I've planned some yeah. other projects. Let's also on Dana thought about it. Um, I, I only need one, one NFT from her, like something awesome, which will uh, combine as my from airdrops and NFTs and Cadena. And I've also told her to, yeah. to go crazy on her own. So um, I'll help her get her uh, into Cadena and um, she, she's got so many creative ideas. So, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've got time, do it. Uh, it yeah, will be yeah. awesome, just uh, right. I think that's like, important. If you want to do individual pieces, that, that works too. But the power of the NFT has to do with, with you being mm -hmm. able to make a thousand, for example. So if you make a thousand, what you need to do is mm -hmm. to have 10 fixed some things, 10 fixed other ones, like for example, 10 heads, 10 bodies, and 10 backgrounds, then you can crank out a thousand NFTs because of the technology. And that's why NFTs are powerful because they have that ability to do that, not just with a piece of art, they can do that with a marriage license where you need to have a, a unique individual thing, meaning another unique individual thing and being secured in the blockchain. And behind um, that unique NFT, there's again, much more coming behind the project. It's not only you scaling one, uh, 1,000 NFT, but there's utility behind it. What I said earlier, I have ideas for the utility, um, but I don't want to talk about that because, because I need to be 100% sure. I know that, that whatever money we raise from these NFTs, if any at all, will be used 
towards building an idea. And the idea is when you're talking about NFTs as utility, man, like if you start the art project, you never know. Maybe you'll join a project that's already being built. Uh, maybe you'll want to use your NFTs. Maybe you'll create your own project. But taking that first step and looking at that step and taking it is powerful. Everything I've done in my life, everything I've done in my life was not about, you know, you have an idea, you have a goal, and if you're gonna enjoy that process, because it can cause a lot of stress as well, if you're gonna enjoy that process, look at the step in front of you and get that done correctly. That's it. Every step, this is, um, Every the, step. the last few months, um, so much change, change for me in my head, in my, uh -huh. in my thought process. Um, yeah, like for example, yeah. if you just take an NFT project, I, I see the vision where I want to go, but you, you can't be there from uh, right away. You know it's gonna take, oh, for, for people to become crypto millionaires or something, it's not gonna happen overnight. And that's why for now I'm learning about Cadena because I know how, 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 it, how it might, um, how, how it's gonna go, but to learn or making an NFT project, uh, draw a little bit, do the things because you can't. You have different ideas for utility, for example. That's where it's exciting. The utility of the NFT, it can represent anything. So there's so much opportunity there in terms of projects that are actually have real world use cases. But what's the first step? The first step is is you've got to have that NFT. <laughs> so just focus on yeah. on working with your sister. And I think that the more creative you guys are, the more creative this utility will become. First step for us, you know, I started doing this three months ago, actually four months ago, but I ended up dropping everything and working on it. That's why there was like a good pause. There was, there was like maybe a three week pause in my YouTube videos. I just stopped doing it. I wasn't producing enough for it to be finished. We have about 75% of the artwork done. Almost all of it is finished, but that 25% requires a, a full week of work that that has to happen. But now because, you know, our idea is to release this in September and maybe uh, end of August or 1st of September is the day that we have for launch for Mint. And uh, that gives me time to build those 25%, to build it slowly and to continue to build community and awareness to the stories. I like your idea about uh, doing this, explaining the, our little stories for each NFT. Having Miriam talk, she is a very interesting character. She is a very fun lady to talk to. <laughs> I, I'd, li I'd, lo I'd love to talk yeah. to her. She has uh, students here. I'm, I'm gonna do like little Twitter videos where the more improvised mm -hmm. when I'm in the studio where I'm just recording and, and maybe doing a snippet and then uploading that so that people get to know Miriam. She's inspired me to be crazy in my life. <laughs> and it's worked out. I gotta tell you, I have seen magic following <laughs> that. That's mm -hmm. artistic road, you know, in my life. I have seen crazy things happen because you take the risk. You say, you know what, I may fail, but I'm going to jump anyways. There's a lot of power when, when all of a sudden uh -huh. this magic net appears and you're caught. <laughs> and you're like, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, I just, I just got, um, how is it called in English? Yeah. The goosebumps bro, yeah, all yeah, over yeah. my body yeah. when you said, uh, when you talk. <laughs> It, it, it really doesn't matter how old you are or what kind of situation you are. And I know everybody's thinking about, I was about, um, do, about doing more, more crypto related things. And now I told myself, bro, I, I will learn 200% more if, if, if I do a YouTube channel and talk about Cadena, because That's I right. really want to yeah, know yeah. it and I want to talk to people and just going to start. You don't have, uh, you don't need um, a specific goal. But like, if, if I'm okay, I, I, I yeah, Cadena, let's, let's you did start. the YouTube channel, yeah. you launched it. You're talking to these people, you're learning hmm? you, that first step. You've done that first step. And what's the step in front of you? Take that step. Just, just, it's, just yeah. work on it and enjoy don't, it. Don't, don't stress. Don't do it right. About, it's exciting. It's, it's so much fun. Absolutely. You know, you said Learning. goosebumps. My friends always had a nickname for me and they called me the bump. They called me the bump. Because whenever I would be inspired, I would point at my, at my arm and say, you see, it was like verification of whatever craziness I was running with that, that it was real. And, and so it became <laughs> a, a way for them to, it became my name because I was, I had these goosebumps whenever I knew that there's something there. <laughs> yeah. I'm Maybe. very much a, a follower of the goosebump. <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. We should do this again. I have another meeting right For now sure. in about five, 
one minute. I got to go. But let's do this again, man. Uh, it was no great problem. talking to you. I, 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 had, I had a lot of fun talking. So I enjoyed you, it. You. And my... Um, yeah. My phone's gonna die also in a second, so my okay, computer, perfect. so... Later, later, bro. We'll talk. Yeah, bro.